What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KFlex. I'm back here with another video, and here we are making the 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 the, the post game video for the Dolphins versus the Bills. Now I'm late on this video. I know I took a while. I had to like really like let this one soak in a little bit because I, obviously we knew we was gonna lose, but honestly, like but we didn't lose that bad. And you know what's so crazy about how terrible we are? We're to a point now in the season. We're like, we lost by 15 points in a division game. And I actually was like looking at my head. I'm like, yo, we actually played pretty good. Bro, yeah. <laughs> like, bro at, well, we didn't really play good at all, but I'll get into it. But like, yo, we it could have been worse. And that's that's what like, that's how bad we are because it could have been a lot worse. Now, we're going to get into it. We really lost this game, how we lose every game because our offense. Our offense can't move the damn ball. You know, not that we played two two bottom five teams in the world and we was getting, and Tua was throwing 300 yards and people wanted me to sit up here and say, oh my God, our offense is this, our Tua is this and that. Bro, let me see you do it against a real team. We played a real team. We did none of that. We did not. It was no 300 yards. It was no, and Bro. I'm not blaming Tua. I'm just telling you the facts. It was no 300 yards. It wasn't even no touchdowns. Okay. I'm just, that's just the reality. The rushing touchdown, but it wasn't no pass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. That, that's the thing. That's the thing, bro. Like we, our passing attack still sucks. Not that we played those terrible teams and and they might have fooled y'all. They didn't fool me. All right, our passing game still sucks. Now we go play the Texans next week, who just got beat by the damn Rams by 90. If we go play the Texans next week, you think if if we have a we look good on offense, I'm gonna say our offense is back. I'm not. I know our offense sucks. We need we need a lot of help on offense. It needs to start with we need one offensive coordinator. We need to our offensive coordinators suck. Period. They they have to both of them. We, we, we have two offensive coordinators to call RPO every play. What do you need two people to do that for? You don't need two people to call RPO every That's what we run RPO every play. I don't understand why you need two people to run RPO every play. Number two, um, the people don't be getting aligned and shit. That's another thing. Like, why don't people, like, our players just don't get aligned half the time. Like, they're just like, we got people screaming all on the line, get here, get here. It's like, bro, y'all are lost. Y'all are coached poorly. Um, and our offense is just abysmal, okay? And we can't move the ball on anybody. We go three and out over and over again. The defense had us in the game. It was three to three at halftime, I want to say. It, it, we should have been winning, but Mike Gusecki, we hiked the ball with Mike Gusecki's running in motion, and it hits him in the hip. And then and then they get the ball. It's, we should have been winning at halftime because strictly because of our defense. Our defense kept us in the game literally as long as you could ever ask for. It was like a whole half. It was a whole half in a in a in a in a, in a a whole half and then like half the third quarter where our defense was literally just doing everything they possibly could to keep us in the game but at some point in time yo yo at some i don't care if you have the 1985 bears defense i don't care if you have whatever defense you want to name the legion of boom i don't care who you have bro you're not gonna keep going three and out and and, and just n nobody scores on you okay especially when you're going up against an elite team an elite quarterback like that's this is a elite quarterback. We were doing so good on Josh Allen, but again, yo, your offense can't get a first down. They can't get a stop. Shit went downhill from there. Okay, the team is undisciplined. They can't move the ball offense, and that's just the reality. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I can keep on, you know, spewing the same thing. Our season is over, so I don't know exactly where we even go from here. The season is over. We don't have our draft pick. We can't even look at draft players like, oh, who should we draft with the first overall? Because at this time, I would probably start watching a lot more college, trying to see who I want to draft. But there's no point of even doing that. We don't have our draft pick. Uh, the 49ers did win today, so that kind of It was like, what do you realistically want me to say right now? Like, what would I say? Like, we just were terrible. We lost by 15 points, and somehow it feels like we played decent. Like, again, like somehow it feels like, yo, this wasn't the worst case scenario, and we lost by 15. And I'm just like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, but we really did play bad because our offense could not move the ball. Okay, our defense played straight, but our offense literally, literally just could not move the ball. I mean, they, they can't. They, they had one good drive the entire game, and it came off after the game was already over. We was 3-3 the whole two and a half quarters. They can't do nothing. As soon as we go down by 14 points and we have a 2% chance of winning the game at that particular point, then all of a sudden we can move the ball. Then all of a sudden we score a touchdown. Our defense is already dead tired by that time. Like, it's, it's over. The game's over. Either way it goes, bro, I think this was a lot of people's last game as Miami Dolphins. I think this was a lot of maybe some some people's favorite players. I think Devontae Parker could possibly get traded. And I'm not saying he's the only one. I think there's going to be a conversation about a lot of people getting traded because we're very far from being good. Like, very far. Like, I don't even know if we're that far if it's just a coaching. But, like, because it seems like the talent's there. But it's just we're one in seven, bro. Again, and these players are not getting any young. We have a young developing quarterback. At what point, like, something's going to have to change. So I wouldn't be surprised, bro, if some players get traded. Okay? I wouldn't be surprised if this is some people's last game as a Miami Dolphin.
Nor would I actually be mad. Trade deadlines on what? Wednesday? I won't be mad if anybody gets traded either because these these people suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we we one in seven. And again, none of these people are getting younger. And I don't even know, like, like again, where do we go from here? We're gonna keep Flores, obviously, so where, where do we go from here? I don't know. I don't think I don't think Tua or Brian Flores goes anywhere this season. To be honest, uh, I think both of them are safe, but I think, you know, it's going to be some people like Devontae Parker and stuff to uh, go because uh, I think something's going to change. I think this team is realizing, like, okay, we're, we're not having it this year, so let's try to build something. Let's try to get some capital in some type of way. But I don't think the people that people are looking at, which is two and Brian Flores, I think they're both going to stay. Uh, but, but yeah, man, it's just another loss, man. We have been won in about two months. It's draining as hell, I'll tell you that. It's very, very draining. And also, I'm tired because I didn't go to sleep till late last night. But... You know, we haven't won in, what, two months. So, uh, you know, I'm kind of used to losing at this point. We play the Houston Texans. Nothing's guaranteed victory with us at this point. Even if we beat the Houston Texans, do you really feel good about it? Like, you're just going to, like, it's just going to be normal. It's be, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I'll tell you one thing. Never going to not like the Dolphins. Always going to love the Dolphins. It is what it is to a point. Uh, but, again, it's the same thing every, every week, okay? We come out here. Just take away the two games where we played the two worst teams in the league. We come out here, we can't move the ball. Our defense gets a couple stops. Eventually, they break down. We go down by multiple possessions. Then randomly, our offense starts looking like they have a clue what they're doing. Then our offense starts scoring, but by that time, it's too late. And this happens every single week, and it's going to continue. To, every week, the same things happens. Our offense cannot move the ball until they're down multiple possessions, and then all of a sudden, they look like the Chiefs. And, and it just it's it's a it's so predictable at this point. Like I knew I like you check my Twitter. I literally called when I I already knew. I said this is going to be the drive right here where the defense predictably breaks down because they've been on the field because our offense got three straight three and outs and there's just they you can't like he's an MVP candidate quarterback. You just can't keep putting him on the field. It just does that just does you that's never going to work. Even in the first half, it wasn't so bad because we were getting a couple first downs before we would put them on the field. So, like, even though we wasn't scoring, okay, you get two, three first downs, your defense got the rest a little bit. Okay, it sucks, but you put that ball, you flip the field position, and your defense got the rest. You, you know what I'm saying? It's more reasonable than when you're getting the ball, you're going three plays and out in 15 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, it's, it's just travesty, bro. Yeah, what do you expect at this point, Okay. I would be insane to be up here screaming and hollering because we lost to the Bills. When the truth be told, everybody knew we was going to lose to the Bills. And honestly, we, I thought we lost by 15. We kept it closer than I thought, which is, I don't know if that's sad or good or what. But we lost by 15, and it was closer than I thought. Okay? Uh, the Bills are Super Bowl contenders, though. You got you to gotta tip the cap. Um, I'm trying to think who played good today. And honestly, uh, Waddle played okay. Uh yeah, Waddle. Waddle always plays pretty decent, though. But, I mean, his role is not what it's supposed to be. He's not supposed to be Welsh Welker. Like, how he plays, he runs slants runs slants and drags across the middle. I thought he was supposed to take the top off. He doesn't take the top off because, like, I don't know. It, it, they, we made him like a Jarvis Landry. Like, what? Like, Jarvis Landry ran a 4-8 or something. He's supposed to be in that role. Waddle is not like that guy. Waddle's not physical and huge. He's a fucking speedster, and we don't we just don't use him like that. Um, but I mean, I guess he did his thing uh, defensively. Everybody was doing their thing. Raekwon Davis was doing well and stopping the run. Uh, our defense was playing really well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, until the second half when they figured out that Cole Beasley was an absolute nightmare for Nick Needham. Okay, and that was there the whole game. I don't know why they never did it, but like in the second half when they decided, okay, let's just start passing it to Cole Beasley. We couldn't stop him, and I knew that was going to be a problem even in the preview. Like we have no answer for Cole Beasley. We have no answer for Cole Beasley. Because we, we we run a lot of man coverage, right? Okay, they're in an outdoor stadium, so, you know, it could be a weather in the factor. We, we, we run a bunch of... Uh, we run a bunch of man coverage, right? Nick Dino has no chance of keeping up with a guy like Cole Beasley, a route runner of that magnitude, but he had no chance. I don't know why they weren't doing it in the first half. Second half, once they figured out that they could do that every single play, they literally threw it to Cole Beasley, I think, six straight plays. Just... Like, cause, like, there's nothing Nick Needham can do with that. There's nothing Justin Coleman can do. Whatever, our, whoever is that a slot, they, they can't do nothing with Cole Beasley. There's nothing they can do, and we weren't getting no pass rush to the point where we could run zone and blitz because we, we don't get no pass rush. So, I mean, once they figured out that that we had no answer for, like, stop trying to test the outsides. Just go to Cole Beasley in the middle. We we have nothing to stop him. Okay, uh, but then you know, even Xavier Howard gave up a touchdown to Diggs. But again, that's afterwards when our offense pretty much sold them four straight drives. So 
I ain't mad at our defense at all, okay? Obviously, could they have been better, I guess, but I mean, any defense is going to break down at a, at a point, okay? The Buffalo Bills really only had, what, 19 points? 19 or 20 points? They scored the last garbage time touchdown for no reason because Josh Allen just hates us and wanted to rub it in, but they didn't need to score that touchdown. They really had, like, 19 points. Okay, they scored off the tour's pick when he was just trying to force something. So, again, they, they didn't really have to... Like, really, our defense really just gave up 20 points in my eyes, which is... If you give up 20 points to Josh Allen, MVP caliber player, that's good. Your offense needs to do something. Help with something. You know? They couldn't do it. Um, anyway, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Welcome to 11K. Okay, flexing. Another loss. I'm out.